Have you ever dreamed about taking a big motorcycle adventure but you weren't sure if you could afford it? Today I'm going to share with you guys my 5 tips on how I save money traveling. These are things that if I had known on my first trip, I would have saved thousands of dollars. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, I'm Tim and this is my channel 40 times around. Today we're hanging out in Rio Verde, Arizona and there's actually some wild horses roaming around. So before we jump into this video, let's check that out real quick. Alright, let's jump right into this. Tip number one is do your own maintenance. Now, you should know how to do at least basic maintenance on your motorcycle before you leave on a big adventure. Now, this doesn't mean you have to be a master mechanic, but you should at least know how to change your own oil, your brake pads, plug a tire, change an air filter, things like that. These are all topics I'm going to cover in some future videos, so make sure you check that out. So, depending on the length of your trip, even just changing your own oil could save you hundreds of dollars on a motorcycle trip. Now, it can be a little inconvenient when you're traveling and staying in hotels trying to find somewhere to change your oil um, and a container to put it in and somewhere to recycle it. Now, I've, I've changed oil quite a few times in hotel parking lots and behind auto parts stores. It can be a little tricky but it will save you a lot of money so I think it's worth worth doing. Okay guys tip number two. This one actually really surprised me when I found this out. I was on a long weekend trip a few years ago and when I came home and checked my bank statement to see how much money I had spent I realized that I was spending two or three dollars at a time several times throughout the day on bottles of water. It was adding up to fifteen or twenty dollars a day, which was more than I was spending on food or even fuel. Now this was just a, a long weekend trip, but if this had been a two month trip, this would have really added up quickly and really taken a big chunk out of my budget. So what I do now is I carry enough empty bottles to fill up one gallon of water. So in the morning I'll buy a gallon, that's about two dollars, and I'm good for the day. And one concern if you're traveling someplace warm is that your water is just going to be hot and disgusting all day. But what I was doing on my last trip was I would just go into a gas station, ask for a cup of ice from the soda fountain. They'd usually let me fill up uh, some ice and sometimes even just put some cold water in to add to what I already had. So definitely bring refillable water bottles. It's also better for the environment. Okay guys, tip number three. Now, if you're going to stay in a hotel, make sure you stay at one that has free breakfast. This is kind of a no-brainer for me. Whenever it gets to that time of day where I'm starting to you know, think about looking for a place to sleep, the first thing I look for in a hotel is do they have free breakfast? Uh, for one, it saves you the obvious cost of coffee and breakfast in the morning, but then magically I always end up with snacks for the rest of the day too, so it really saves me like two meals. Also, I tend to eat a little bit healthier at these continental breakfasts. They typically have more healthier options like bananas and yogurt and just things that are a little bit healthier which for me is great when I'm traveling because when I'm out on the road and convenience is really king, I'm just living out of gas stations and I don't tend to eat super healthy so it's great when that's put in front of me, I'm much more likely to pick something a little healthier to, to eat. So if you're going to stay at a hotel, definitely stay at one that has free breakfast. It'll save you a lot of money. Okay, tip number four. This is probably the biggest way to save money traveling on a motorcycle and it's definitely my favorite and that is camp. Now the savings add up super quick when you compare a hotel at $100 a night and even a more expensive campsite at $20, savings add up really quick and it's definitely worth camping on your next motorcycle trip. To be honest with you, when I'm out on a big motorcycle trip, I actually prefer to let the adventure continue through the night in my tent out in the wilderness. Uh, for me, it really captures the essence of adventure, to just be so immersed in your environment 24 hours a day, out in the elements. Uh, so I actually really prefer to camp as opposed to staying in a hotel. Um, I like having my bike right next to me at night. So for me, this isn't just a budgeting thing, I just prefer it. I think it enhances my trips so much more to be camping. But it will save you a lot of money, so definitely camp on your next motorcycle trip. Alright guys, tip number five. This one may surprise you. Tip number five is travel slower. Now this may seem counterproductive if you're spending $150 a day and your trip takes 20 days instead of 10, that's gonna cost you more. But actually, when I travel slower, I tend to be more methodical about things like 
finding campsites, cooking for myself, doing my own maintenance, and just generally being more budget conscious. So traveling slower for me definitely helps me save some money. And really, you just you enjoy your trip much more when you're traveling slower. All right, those are my five tips on how I save money traveling on a motorcycle. Hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to see more of my videos about motorcycles, camping, traveling, things like this. Question of the day, what are some ways you guys save money traveling on a motorcycle? I'd love to hear from you guys on this one, so let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.